Hey guys, Tom Mobile back again. Welcome to day 9 or 10 in the life of the Galaxy Z Fold 5. I'm losing track of time again. Currently recording this video using the main camera. So I just have it propped on the table, sitting on the laptop, and just recording from here. I have no idea what I'm going to look like in the frame. Can't really see the preview screen if I have a dock like this. The only way I can really preview myself is if I lift the phone up and hold the phone while I'm recording. But if not, this is what I'm going to see. And since it has a matted back, there's like no glass or reflection that I can frame myself in. You know, I'll just slide that over. Okay, let's just chat through day 9 in life of this phone. So woke up at 4.30 a.m. in the morning, I unplugged my Galaxy Z Fold 5, leave my baby, just leave the, just left the phone sitting on the table. I don't really want to have it in my pocket, you know, if I sit down, there's a good chance it's going to fall out. That's the downside of having a large, heavy phone in your pocket, it's likely going to fall out if you sit down. Around 9 a.m. in the morning, I like to take at least one picture of my kid every single day. If I remember, I'm not going to post it online or anything like that, just in case he doesn't want it to be posted online later on in life. Yeah, you don't want to be posted, right? It's okay. Anyways, around 10 a.m. I would play a little bit of Pokemon Go, anywhere from an hour to two hours. Here and there, just not actively playing, just have the screen on, flicking here and there. Fast forward to 4 p.m. in the evening, phone is at 15%. Yeah, 15%. So the day goes by. In case you guys are curious, talking to you guys sitting down there, lifting my phone and it's still recording. Just want to make sure I don't accidentally touch anything and turn off the recording. Oh no! We were back. <laughs> Already resuming this video on my Insta360 Pro 2 because it's very challenging to mount this phone open using one hand. So baby in the other hand, phone in one hand. If I wanted to mount this phone, I can double tap the power button to launch the camera. So the camera is launched, and then I can kind of dig my finger in here. So we're digging. It is possible to use it one hand. This is very challenging. So it's still digging. Okay. Got the phone up. And then now, just I can hit the power button. We're recording. And I'll turn the phone around. So, and I guess technically it's possible to record. It just takes a little bit more effort, but the best camera is always the one that is readily available and easy to use. But these days, I don't really spend a lot of time on the inner display. So the Fold 5 might not be worth it if you have a busy lifestyle. You don't always have two hands available. You don't want to deal with the extra bulk and weight. Probably not really worth it. And by nighttime, 10 p.m., I'm gonna go to bed, have my phone plugged in, white noise to keep my baby asleep. And that's pretty much how I go about my day. <laughs> Overall, the Galaxy Z Fold 5, I'm glad they made it a little bit lighter. Overall, it's still heavy. Okay. I guess the good thing will happen to fold. You can just close it up and start re uh, stop the recording. You good? Yeah? You wanna go change? Okay, back again. Baby is changed and calm. Maybe we'll finish the rest of this video for the third time. But with the new hinge, it does close tighter. It is flat, so it prevents less dust from getting in, which is nice. All folding phones in general, they, the idea of it sounds cool, but it picks up a lot of dust. The crease is still there. The built-in screen protector it is super shiny and reflective. So it's not a very pleasant experience just in terms of the quality and built material. The crease is ugly, so that's not going away anytime soon. With the Fold 5, you're getting the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. So it is the latest flagship Android chip in 2023, which is the best chip you're going to get. 
unlike the Motorola Razer Plus, as much as I did enjoy that phone, they are using a one year older chip. It's not really that much of a difference in the grand scheme of things. I feel like my S20 works just fine. That is a three year old phone. It has the Snapdragon 888 or whatever it was back in the days. It's still super fast and fluid. And year to year, all these ships are getting so good, you don't really see that much of a difference in performance boost or anything like that. So the Fold 5 is a great phone for people who want a device that can do it all. It is a large display, great for productivity or gaming and entertainment. If you have two, t two hands available at all times to actually utilize it, all the features and functionalities is there. You just want to make sure you're able to take advantage of it. So it all depends on your lifestyle. Me personally right now, I'm always carrying a baby so I have to rely on the outer display more. Which is fine for one-handed use when typing. But there are a lot of instances where I need to reach the top of the screen and it's very challenging. I have to tilt the- oh, okay, it's okay baby, okay, we'll walk around. We will walk around. <laughs> okay. Yeah! Okay, I guess we'll finish the video up here. So it's fine for typing, but when you reach in the top, be very challenging. It's long and narrow. Sometimes you tilt the phone too much. You might hit the auto rotate button, and then all of a sudden your phone is horizontal, and you got one hand. There's no way to turn it back unless you lock the phone and unlock it. So little things like that. Anyways. So the Fold 5 is very durable, I'm confident that it will last for many years to come. It's a very premium phone, but overall it's big, it's bulky, it's lighter than the previous years but it's still heavy. It's a very fun phone to use, it is still very expensive, ah, and it's not very practical for most people. It doesn't have all the high-end specs, but it is a cool phone, you have a tablet in your pocket, and if that's what really something you want and you're willing to spend eighteen hundred dollars for it. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Please check out my other day vlogs if you haven't already. And see you guys in the next video.